Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I thought we would do something fun. Don't mind the fact that Edie now looks fabulous, okay? Because in between making this video, we actually shot a TikTok where we straightened the hair. This is my first time ever straightening hair, by the way. Can I, can I, can we get some, can we get some, like, applauses here? <laughs> I did a pretty good job, right? Yeah, you say yes, Father, that is the best hair straightening I've ever seen. She's also wearing lashes. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Anyway, we thought we would make a video, because so many people have been asking us um, to talk about all the other names that Edie um, did not use uh, when, when, when she was changing her name to E Delicious. She is officially, it's E Delicious, but it's shortened. Not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's just Edie. But we decided we'd make a video. Yeah. And I thought it would be better if Edie made the video. So, in her own words, she's going to tell you guys, bring you on a journey. A journey. Bring them on a journey. Okay. Have you got snacks? No. Have they got snacks for the journey? No. What kind of snacks do you need for the journey? They get, they get hard peas that um, you will choke on. I don't think anyone, oh, don't bring up the peas, okay? You're gonna have, I know there's, there's already people who are after me because I eat peas for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I eat peas for breakfast, buddy. Mm -hmm. There's something you just found out about your parents. Your father eats peas for breakfast. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy Edie's fantastic story of the journey. I'll be delicious. <laughs> when I was born, they thought I was a boy. No. Doesn't he look so like Amelia? Hi. <laughs> I like that. I have a son. Oh my God, he looks so like Amelia. It's insane. I can't even open this. And he's so cute. He's so he's mental. I was trying to I was trying to hold him down there and he peed all over me. It was like he was like, oh they're holding hands and he didn't check and all of a sudden like I was like, what the hell is going on? There's like water spraying everywhere. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Boys have wheelies. Now as there's as a son, his dad should dress him. Hello there, Junior. You're so cute. Yes. I dressed him. O T D. Did I have decided to pick? No, he's a man. Did I have decided to pick my hat with my wheels? Because I like wheels. Because I like wheels. I feed on that. It was the first thing I did when I was born. His first decision was to pee on me. A few years ago, I told my parents that I was a girl and they let me change my name. But I thought I could only change my name until I was 18. So the first name is Sophia. I thought Sophia was a nice name because most people that have the name Sophia I think are really nice and sweet. The next name I thought of was Esmeralda but because it is my tooth fairy's name and it began with an E and I thought it was a really nice and it reminded me of crystals and purple stuff. I also um, thought of the name Ariana, which I regret saying that now because I don't know how Ariana would fit me. I also thought of the name Zara and Zoe because I just thought they were nice names because they begin with a Z and I thought they were just nice. Except they still wouldn't, that name wouldn't suit me. That's why I think Edie and Eduardo are the best to suit me probably. <laughs> when I first changed my name, it wasn't that big. Um, I was sitting on the couch and then I was i um, just still thinking of names. I even typed up on um, Google pretty girl names and I didn't like any of them. So then um, we thought of Edie and I went with that. A couple of days later, I came home from school. I was told to not look in the kitchen, so I did it and then 
I came in and there was lots of princess balloons and there was a cake saying "Ed" on it and we all ate the cake and the and I was so happy and surprised about this. I didn't think it was a big deal if I just changed my name to Edie, but we had lots of balloons and cake and it was really nice. When I went to school, um, of course I had to say something, but I, I remember it scared to talk to the teachers a bit at school, but I, t I, I didn't really know what to say, so mummy and daddy helped me. We were going to go to music um, in the middle of the day, and then um, I got called to stay for a bit, and so I walked over to the teacher, and she was talking to me about um, your parents said that you wanted to be called she and her with that pronoun and I said yes and I she said you want me to talk to the class about it but I was too shy and scared to do that so um I said no and she said okay um she said what about if I if we keep saying she and her and calling you Edie maybe some people get used to it and start doing it and then and um, that didn't really work, so they tried their hardest, even though some people still forget. So that's basically how everyone started to call me Edie. And then she told me to tell a few friends, but I only told one. When people started to call me Edie, lots of people did it, and lots and lots. Some people still ask me, um, is your name Edie? And I say like, yes. This is my brother Andrea and Andrea 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 How do you feel that my name's Edie? Poo poo. You feel poo poo about that. So Andrea, how do you feel that I don't say poo poo. How do you feel um, about my name's Edie? Poo poo. I said don't say that. Edie. Yes. <laughs> and um, is it weird to, um, that you have to call me Edie and her? So it's weird calling me Edie? <laughs> no. No. No? No. Oh. Okay. This is um, Alessia and Amelia's room. They share a room and it's very pink because um, last year chose a colour pink but I really wanted a room like this but when we first got this house I, I wish I didn't say it, I said I want a blue room and I have to show you the dream. I don't know, whose room would you like this to be? Alessia. And? Me. Yeah. This is your new room for you and Alessia to share together and, listen to me, we can paint it any colour you want. I want to sleep with Andrea. <laughs> this is me. Okay. You will be, you will be. There's nothing in It's pink. Oh, because they're blue walls? Well, first tell me, which one of them do you like the best? What? Why are you walking like that? Okay, let's. Oh! Oh! Where's Eduardo gone? Oh, we've lost Eduardo. We might be moving house soon and I get my own room and I'm going to make sure it has mermaids, it's going to be sparkly and purple, a little cosy. But right now I sleep in a blue room with Andrea and there's a lot of superhero stuff. That's why I don't really like showing people my room because it's all blue. I changed my um, bed sheet cover book. I got a new mermaid one. I sometimes get like a unicorn one sometimes. I used to have this, uh, my iPad was blue and 
now I change to a pink cover case and I like it way better because now it has a stand and it's pink. Thank you for watching the video. Um, hit that subscribe button. Um, like. See you next time. Bye.